Surface quality and appearance play an important role whenever modeling with surfaces. Small imperfections or poor transitions between surfaces can be easily overlooked without using tools such as curvature visualization. In addition to curvature visualization, other steps can be taken to analyze and adjust the quality of a surface. Tessellation quality can be adjusted for solid parts and surfaces to change the accuracy of parts rendering in the user interface. Changing the tessellation quality of a surface to fine or very fine can be done before measuring surface quality. Once the surface has been checked for imperfections, the tessellation quality should be reduced to increase performance. Each new part or surface is set to auto by default to optimize the graphics performance. Alternatively, tessellation quality can be set to high for the entire part studio or assembly. Choose View in High Quality from the Camera and Render options. This sets all parts and surfaces within that tab to very fine tessellation until the option is disabled or the document is closed. This option saves time when working with many parts or surfaces, preventing the need to change the tessellation quality for each individual part or surface. Choosing the right color appearance can make a difference when modeling a surface. Lighter colors, such as light blue or gray, can reflect simulated light easier and highlight potential problems more visibly. Changing the display style to shaded without edges removes any edges of the part or surface. Since edges are where surfaces meet, hiding all edges makes it easier to view the transition. In some situations, a surface or imported part cannot form a solid because of laminar edges. The Highlight Boundary Edges option highlights any holes or disconnects within the model. This enables a fast and effective way to isolate open regions of a model. Selecting the Final button displays the final result when modifying a previous feature. This tool is especially useful for surface modeling by allowing users to preview subtle changes. These changes can be applied to the underlying curves or adjacent surfaces to refine the end shape of the model. Once the desired changes are made and the feature is committed, the model is updated parametrically.